What up, the world? Listen, right, I'm sitting here listening to the uh, Young Bird situation, right? Hold on, get some light here. Young Bird and um, Young Bird or whatever, right? And he was talking about how he was home invaded. Chick set him up. Yada, yada, yada. Typical story, nigga. You don't have any motherfuckers then. And it's always somebody close to you that set you up. You know what I'm saying? These niggas getting tricked off and, and set up by whores, though. You know, but you know what happens, man. Nigga been drinking. You think you know somebody. But what killed me was the Bun B situation. People actually was like, is he a snitch? Um, for telling, you know, he a street nigga. You don't supposed to say nothing to get a nigga locked up and this and this and this. He crying in court. Man, listen, bro. Half these niggas ain't street niggas, number one. They old rappers. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers want none of them too much street. Now, he might got a name in Houston and all this from rapping, and he respected, but that don't mean he was no motherfucking gangster, my dog. You know what I'm saying? Because, listen, I mean, what he supposed to do? He come in and he shot the nigga, right? So what I'm not understanding is how people say, well, he a rat, he this, he this. What the fuck? If, if, if some niggas came in his house and he popped the motherfuckers, he gave a statement. They want him to go to court, right? Well, well, his wife in there, that should be enough and this and this. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, he ain't actively in the street no more, you know? So fuck them niggas. Hell yeah, get up and tell what happened. Nigga, when I was in there, I shot the shit out of this cocksucker. You know what I'm saying? Fuck these niggas. You know what I'm saying? You think I'm about to let these motherfuckers get off and be able to come back and do something to me or I have to kill these motherfuckers and I get the time? You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up. These motherfuckers home invaded me. I didn't say nothing. Now they getting out. Now I have to kill them or they going to kill me. I, I got to look over my back, man. Fuck you. Fuck that. He did right. All the crime shit. I don't know why he didn't kill him. Like He wouldn't even had that problem if, if he would have took care of his business, but should I say? It's strictly, it's a home invasion. It's strictly self-defense. You understand what I'm saying? It's strictly self-defense, so I don't understand why in the fuck would you have to even, if you would have laid them boys down like you supposed to have, that's why I say y'all believe in these rappers and shit. I'm not, not you know, with all respects to Bun B, I'm not really speaking about Bun B. I'm just speaking about how kids look up to these rappers and they not nothing to they rap about you know what i'm saying because a motherfucker breaking there he got my wife he not leaving out that motherfucker alive that's just what it is it's just it's just what it is it's not gonna happen especially he there you know it ain't like i hit him and he ran and got away like no you got to go my dog and then listen anybody know that the police tell you that Shoot and don't stop shooting. You look at the the, the police officer that's in Mississippi, the one to do the the be with the big podcast in Florida. He said they urge you to delete a home invader. That's the only home, home invader is a deleted one. That's what he say. Flat the fuck out. It's less you ain't got to worry about getting sued. You ain't got to worry about, especially they come in there with guns. Now I understand if you come home, a kid might have broke in, and you see that's a kid. Man, look, get out of my house. You know what I'm saying? Beat it, little nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, but a person coming in with guns and they got your wife and you get the shot on them. But I'm not going to promote that. You know, I, I don't know what to say. I, but I've been through a home invasion. So I seen academics on this shit, in which I really don't fuck with academics channel like that. You know what I'm saying? But. I see he he had been home invaded or whatever. And like that's a feeling that's that's a different type of feeling. Like when somebody home invades you, my dog, and come to your house with bad intentions or with guns, I've been through it. You know what I'm saying? I, I know what it's like, you know? So that shit happened to me some years ago. I saved me and three other people's lives. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, this night, my kids didn't come home. You know, my kid and my girl used to come every night. So this one we was dating. We was, you know, we weren't staying together, you know, together, but we was back and forth off each other's houses. And, you know, I'm doing illegal shit out of my house. I got a man out of spot going on. And so I kind of told her, like, look, I need you. To, I'm going to get another spot. I, I don't really want you to bring the baby here. You know what I'm saying? There's too much going on. And sure enough, she took my advice, I guess, that night and was like, 
didn't come by, and we were sitting there, and the motherfucker had the nerve. My boy opened the door, dog standing there with the gun. So he must have been peeking through the blinds the whole time. And um, and that shit went down. But yeah, man, that's a different type of feeling. So that's why you always in your home, you always have to be strapped. You always have to be ready. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you got anything going on, you know, legal or illegal. Man, you know, I heard California, that's a rough place. I heard California is, boy, boy, you know, they sick with that shit. Um, that's why it's good. You got to have security when you move out there, man. But, man, this robbery shit is getting out of hand. It can happen to anybody, man. You know, um, you just got to be prepared. Like, you know, see, we, we only hear about when a celebrity get killed. But you know how many businessmen and different multi-millionaires, or, you know what I'm saying, or celebrity shit that that didn't happen to that we don't hear about, that might not be on an urban podcast, that might just be on a, you know what I'm saying? That shit happens all the time, every day. You're lucky to make it out of it. Because once a person get in there and they got you alone, come on, man, why not? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just something for them to do. Even if they have not a reason, you don't know who they are, you can't describe their face or none of that. It's just you alone. They looking like, look, fuck these cameras. They can't see my face. They don't know who I am. This this my time to be a killer. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, and um, but anybody who caught setting some shit like that, like that up, they should also get a life sentence. It shouldn't just be the person at home and they, the person that set the shit up should just do as much time as they do. You know what I'm saying? Um. That's what that is, but that's some scary shit to go through, man. So, yeah, so I really did this one because everybody was talking about Bun B, and he ain't a gangster, he ain't this, and he ain't that. All right, well, this man in his 50s now, got it. You know what I'm saying? Um, he living a different life now, my dog, even if you in the streets. I'm pretty sure when you younger, he would have did shit different. Just being younger, period, I, you know, and not really having a family or being, not, not saying that you didn't care when you was younger, but when you were a little younger, you got a chance to kind of like say fuck certain shit. And you take more risks and do different things. I think he would have thought different as a younger man. You know, I think he would have just let his wife get up there. Because at that point, he had an image to uphold. Like, hey, shit, I, mean, you know, I, I don't talk to these motherfuckers. Y'all going to do your job or not? I told you what happened. I, I don't have nothing to say. Let my wife tell you. She'll tell you about it. You know what I'm saying? But either way, that's stupid as fuck. Hell yeah, this what happen. Fuck yeah, nigga. I popped you. They know I popped you. I had to tell on myself. You know what I'm saying? When I'm going to leave my wife out to dry or shit. I, yeah, I shot the shit out this motherfucker. All right, well, we're going to need you to come to court to justify. All right, well, you supposed to, you know, I don't, I don't know. I can't say what I would or wouldn't. Um, I just can't see me. I don't know. I just can't see myself personally getting up on those stand telling because I've been carjacked and um, I didn't go to the court. I didn't pick the niggas. I didn't go to court. I let my man do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting up going. To, I'm not going to court. You understand what I'm saying? Um, that's how, that's just me. It's different. I'm not looking down on him for doing what he did. Yeah, family man, man. Like I say, I know how the streets work. You think I'm going to let these motherfuckers go to turn around and do that shit to somebody else? And I'm damn sure at this age, not about that. Now, all this shit I got going on. So I'm supposed to pay somebody to go do something to these niggas. And they get caught and tell on me and I lose everything because I want to hold up an image as a street nigga to some bum motherfuckers. Nah, hell no, nah, nigga. Yeah, this, you know, so I don't knock him for what he did. I'm just saying me as me being me, I just don't know if I could have did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I wouldn't have, but I just, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I got to say on that one, man. And like I said, always be careful. Let them, Stop letting motherfuckers know all your business. That's real talk. Motherfuckers will come and hurt you over little or nothing. This motherfucker's getting killed over ounces of weed, my dog. 
That's why when I think about how much shit I done did and got away with, the times I was popping pills and drunk and fell asleep, the door open, my boys come in, finding all type of money and shit scattered, I let them tell them stories. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be the one to tell them stories like exaggerate. Like y'all think I'm exaggerating some shit. But listen, I done been fucked up, door open, slipping. If it wasn't for my own homeboys, and I, I mean, I know a million people that can tell you these stories about me. And I mean thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars in cash or either work. I've been sitting right there where the nigga could have just banged me and, or just took the shit. And I never would have knew. You know what I'm saying? Just having good people around me, man. Saved my life so many times, man. So, yeah, I ain't with that shit no more. That's why I say all them drugs and shit, drinking. That's how that young boy just lost his life. Don't drink, but he drinking. You know, and that's how shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. But, yeah, I'm out of here, though. Trap Talk Blue YouTube. Hit that like, subscribe, share button. I'm back, my baby.